Hello friends, this video on perimeter and area part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now one more interesting thing is that, that even inside triangles we can find more triangles. So there are smaller triangles inside a bigger triangle. That's interesting, right? So let us have a look at this one. So in this diagram what do you see? So overall what is this? This is nothing but a triangle. Let's name it. Let's call this as A, B, C. So what is A, B, C? So A, B, C is a triangle. Now let's call this point as D. Now what is A, B, D? This is also a triangle. What is A, D, C? That is also a triangle. So basically here we see that triangle A, B, D that is the green one and the triangle A, D, C that is the orange one. These two triangles are present inside the triangle A, B, C. So this is a scenario where we find triangles inside triangles. Now in this case again So looking at this scenario, do you think that triangle ABD, that is triangle ABD, the green one, and triangle ADC, are these two congruent? What do you think about them? Because now why is it important to know if these two triangles inside the bigger triangle are congruent or not? Because if these two triangles are congruent, that would actually mean that area of this triangle would be equal to the area of this triangle. So let us find out if they are congruent or not. So when you compare these two triangles, you see that this is a right angle. This is also a right angle, right? Similarly, this AD is a common side for both the triangles. Now, in case we are given that this triangle ABC, if this is an isosceles triangle or an equilateral triangle, then we also have these sides equal, that is AB and AC are equal. So, with these kind of criteria, if we find that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle ADC, so if they are congruent, that would mean that area of triangle ABD is equal to the area of triangle ADC. And what would that mean? That would actually mean that area of triangle ABD is equal to area of triangle ADC and this is equal to half into area of triangle ABC. So basically if the areas of these two smaller triangles are equal that would mean that area of each smaller triangle is half the area of the bigger triangle. But all of this was possible only because these two triangles were congruent. Now let us look at another scenario. So here also we have one triangle. Let's call this triangle also as ABC. So ABC is a bigger triangle and inside ABC you have a triangle ABD, you have another triangle ADC. So here also you see that there is one big triangle, inside the big triangle you have two smaller triangles. But in this case, do you think that the area of triangle ABD will be half the area of triangle ABC? Now very carefully look at the second scenario. Now in the second scenario we say that the area of triangle ABD is not equal to the area of triangle ADC. So why do we say this in case of this scenario? Because here also these are ABD and ADC are two small triangles inside a bigger triangle. That's because in this case, this triangle, the blue triangle and the pink triangle, they are not congruent to each other. So that means that only if two triangles are congruent, they overlap completely with each other and therefore they cover equal areas. So if two triangles are congruent, then they will always have their areas equal. So wherever you have any scenario of this sort where you are seeing smaller triangles inside a parallelogram or smaller triangles triangles inside a rectangle or another triangle, first of all you need to evaluate if those smaller triangles are congruent to each other. Only then you can conclude that their areas are same. So if two triangles are congruent, they have equal areas. But if they are not congruent, they do not have equal areas. However, many a times you might think that okay, now if we have two triangles which have equal areas, so will they be congruent? So we are just telling the vice versa. Like we saw in the previous slide that if two triangles are congruent, they have equal areas. Now in, in the, on this screen, we see two triangles with equal areas. So let's say that 
this is triangle ABC and this is triangle DEF. So now in this case let's say that area of triangle ABC is equal to area of triangle DEF. So this is given, we know this as a matter of fact. Now if I ask you that these two triangles are congruent or not. So do you think they are congruent? Well in this case they are definitely not congruent. Now forget about the criteria for congruence. If you try to overlap these two triangles over each other, they will not cover each other completely. So therefore, even though this fact is true that if two triangles are congruent, they have equal areas, but the vice versa is not true. That means two triangles with equal areas are not necessarily congruent. They might be congruent, but they might not be congruent. So if two triangles have equal areas, they may or may not be congruent. So this is a very important concept. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.